Number 11. You are to drive 300 kilometers to an interview. The interview is at 11.15 a.m. You plan to drive at 100 kilometers per hour, so you leave at 8 a.m. to allow some extra time. You drive at that speed for the first 100 kilometers. But then construction work forces you to slow down to 40 kilometers per hour for 40 kilometers. What would be the least speed needed for the rest of the trip to arrive in time for the interview? So the whole trip is 300 kilometers, right? And in the first 100 kilometers, so in the first part of the trip, you drive at 100 kilometers per hour. In the second part, you find some construction work. And then you drive 40 kilometers at the speed of 40 kilometers per hour. So immediately we can calculate uh, how much it's left to travel. It's just 300 minus 100 minus 40 equals 160 kilometers, right? Really simple. Um, so just remember that we can, if the acceleration is zero, the velocity equals to the displacement over the time it took to do that displacement. So if we want to calculate the least speed needed, we need the distance that is left, which we, we already calculated, is this one over here. And we need the time left. So how many minutes we have to complete the trip so we don't get late to the interview. So we, we already have delta x, we now need delta t. How will we calculate delta t? We will just take the, the, the we have, 3 hours and 15 minutes and then we will just subtract the time we took in this red part, this blue type, uh, this blue part over here. So let's first, let's change these minutes to hours because we have 11, we, we, start, we started our trip at 8 a.m. and we have to get there at 11 hours and 15 minutes. So we have three hours, of course, we have three hours. So eight to 11 is three hours. And we, we still have left 15 minutes. But you cannot write, write this like three uh, dot 15 hours because 15 minutes is not 0 0.15 hours. 15 minutes is a quarter of an hour. So it's 3.5. 25 hours. So this is the time that we have to complete our trip. So don't make this mistake over here. It's really common. This mistake over here, you just put 3.15 and then, then you get everything wrong. So this is the time that we have to complete our travel. And we just need to calculate the time it took in this first part, in the second part, and then subtract over here. And then replace over here. It's really simple. So we can we can calculate the, the, this time over here. Just take this equation. V equals delta x over delta t or delta t equals delta x over v. So we have delta x equals to 100 kilometers and v equals 100 kilometers per hour. So this is one hour. We can do exactly the same thing for the blue part, which would be uh, 40 over 40, which equals to one hour as well. So in this two, in the first two parts of the trip, we took one hour here, one hour here. So we already spent two hours. So instead of 3.25 hours, we have 1.25 hours so this is the time that we have left so now we can calculate the the 
the least velocity or the least speed. In this case, let's suppose that it's going to straight in the, in the highway. So delta x equals to 160 divided by 1.25. And this, if you do this calculation, you would get 128 kilometers per hour. And this is the answer of the exercise.